Okay, so I went, went into the hatch again. Let's see. Oh, I got to stop that light. Okay, so I'll go into the hatch. And what I've got is number one marked with mark contour up in the top. Number two is enabled, and I've got the follow edge. Notice this little guy right here, this, this, this pattern. Then number two, I've got that same pattern, and I've got these marked along with that top one marked with the contour. And then number three, I've got that same pattern there. Seems to me, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this on continuous down here. Oop, I, gotta, I gotta push okay on that first. And then I'm going to push continuous right here. And no, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this just one time. And that way you'll see what this does. So I'm going to be ready to hit it right now. So this is just one time with all three of those checks. for the settings on this I had a speed of 800 now I'm gonna that's just one mark and you can see it's just kind of etched in a little bit it doesn't really have any kind of engraving in it so we'll go back over to this hatch again and then I'm going to change this one right here let's change that one to a little a little dotty things in there and we'll go to the second one we'll change that one just a little bit we'll make that one like red and blue Okay, we're gonna keep that third one the same. After you do that, you gotta go over here and push apply. And of course you go through their rigmarole and all the stuff. I'm gonna take the speed now, I'm gonna run it up to a thousand. I've got the frequency at 10% power at 90, here we go. I'm going to go back up here to the hatch, or you can go over here to this hatch. Let's do it that way. All right, so this first one's got the little dots around that. Let's change this to, yeah, let's go, let's go to that one right there. And then we'll go to number two, and we'll change that one to that one. Let's go around and around and around like that. That's, I guess that's so that what that does is starts from the center. And this one here, Okay, well, let's go to, let's do that little red line. I'm not sure what that is, but that's what we're going to do this time. There's our little pieces. Go over here to apply. All right, here we go. This is aluminum, 6061 aluminum. And we're gonna go over here again to this little hatch. Come back up here to this little guy. I'm not sure what this does, but we're, gonna, we're just gonna click that one. Everything else is the same. And all that is is a cross hatch, push apply. See that little thing right there? Changed. So that's not gonna work. Let's go over here and take that cross hatch off. 
Okay, and see it cleared that thing back up. All right, so now um, I am going to go back to the the hatch. You can also do it up here, or you can do it on the bottom. It doesn't matter. I'm going to take the enable off of that one. Take the enable off of that one. And then on number three, I like this one here. It seems to have a lot of power. I don't know why, but we're going to try that one. We're going to apply. our little guys and you can see there's a little bit of a indention on there I got a little flashlight here in the shadow you can kind of see let's see if I can kind of tip it a little bit you can see the dust from the aluminum being burned off of there <laughs> all right so we're gonna do this again except this time I'm just gonna leave it on continuous Okay, that was a complete cycle there. And that little last part of that, what was happening, it was, it was, uh, if you remember up here on this third one, it says mark contour. Now, if I click that one off, it won't do that last step. So I'll show you. Over here, get rid of this thing. And here we go. There was a little step in between all that. I'm going to take this continuous off and then go back to the hatch again. Anyway, I like just playing with these little guys here because it just seems like just a little bit of tweaking and acts different. All right, go over here to the ply. I got the reason why I'm testing this out. I got a guy bringing a gun here a little bit. We're going to engrave on the gun. You see the you see the little ledge there kind of starting to come. I don't like that one though. I'm gonna go back up here. I'm just gonna go number three. We'll change this one a little bit. A little blue and red on the outside of that. Oh, it disappeared. So that one won't work. Well, let's see. Not sure what happened. The part disappeared. Go back up here to this hatch to see what the heck I did. That little thing there, just all I did was that just changed everything. See if it'll come back. I don't see it anywhere. And then we're going to hit the continuous button and mark again. Just 
second time. Okay, that's the third time. I'm gonna change the speed on this thing. I'm gonna go 2,000 on it for the speed. I found it, it seems like it's more powerful than more speed, but honestly, it's, it's not. Yeah. It's the same power all along. I'm going to change this down to about 50 this time. And what it does, it'll make a darker mark. What I did here is I found these, these are widgets or wing dings or something like that, I think on the computer, and I think it was just the uh, parentheses button that came up with these two little things. Now I put two of them on there because I just wanted to see what they do on different sizes. So what I tried also to do was to import a bitmap image on them, and it just, for some reason, it just doesn't work. So I, I may have to have another program in order to operate that. So what I've got available is uh, just what I have on my keyboard, and this thing works good with that way. But there's probably another little program I'm going to have to buy in order to put a import a bitmap or a PGA or a different types of files. The reason why I'm showing you anyone that's watching this now is because I've struggled for days, months, trying to figure this program out and went through incredible frustration and I just want to help someone else out, but they don't have to do the same thing I do. Okay, now I'm going to go back over here and change the speed again. Yeah. Let's go uh, 3,000. Evidently, I must have bumped something. Are. 
Again, we're at 3,000. how much it's uh, taking off anyway thanks for watching